So when does the story of Stray take place? The game never actually tells us directly, but there are hidden clues hinting at the history and lore of this world scattered throughout the city. And if you look very carefully and piece them together, we can solve the mystery of when down to the exact date. This is a timeline of Stray, the Companions, and the Walled City 99. The oldest items we can find are this poster mentioning 1986, a fruit basket from maybe 2011, some invoices from 2014 and 15, and this keg from 2017. This hints to us that while Stray takes place in the future, it isn't too far. This is backed up by how the tech, with a few exceptions, isn't wildly more advanced than our own, and that outside the city we still see items like cardboard, cranes with cables, and paint that have not yet been eroded away by time. The first future date we can find is August 23rd, 2050, which you can get from this timestamp. So the early and simple models of the companions were created sometime before 2050, and then whether through the invention of AI, evolution, possibly the invention of a way for humans to upload their minds, the companions became much more than machines in August of that year. The companions often refer to the humans as their ancestors, and we see evidence of robots and humans living together at some point. The next date we can find is this vinyl album in the nightclub, which has the year 2084 on it, which is perhaps music created by the companions. And then one of the biggest clues is this engineering degree from 2198, belonging to the scientist who would later become B12. So now we know that the scientist's life took place around this time, and we also know from B12 that during the scientist's life, the outside had been inaccessible for at least 100 years. So that places the Earth's mystery catastrophe shortly before the turn of the century, and the construction of the walled city around or before then as well. The walled city used massive machines deep in the earth to extract water, specially engineered plants to purify the air, and NicoCorp created a bacteria to break down garbage. And while there are some aspects of joy to living in this city, life was hard. There were constant blackouts, rationing, and great gulfs of resources between those that lived above and below, and eventually, draconian control. And then, a terrible plague struck the city. Those living above disabled the elevator and subway and abandoned those below to die. But it was futile, and it came for them as well, and eventually all humanity in this city ended. But before this happened, the scientists, after losing their family and becoming sick themselves, attempted to upload themselves into the network, but instead became stuck there for several hundred years. During these hundreds of years, the companions mourned the loss of their human ancestors and carried on life in their absence, mimicking traditions of the humans and evolving in their own intelligence, art, and culture, they eventually switched to their own language. They even had children of their own. And one interesting thing to note here is that Doc set the code to his lab as 2511, and considering this clue was hidden behind a picture of him and his son, it is quite possible that 2511 is when his son was born. But the companions weren't the only life to evolve during this time. Deep in the sewers, the bacteria that NicoCorp had created began to evolve and eventually became the Zerks, which started to take over whole parts of the city and threaten the companions. And things were looking pretty bleak for them, until of course, the day where a cat fell into their city. But when was this? What day? What year? Now, there are four major clues that we can use to solve this mystery. Are you ready? Okay, first, thanks to Ronan, we know it has been at least 374 years since a pandemic shut down the elevator, but no more than a few hundred based on how long B12 was in the network. Second, in the bar in the slums there is this plaque telling us that last month, in September, Jacob was Employee of the Month, and that the year was four digits ending in 27. This also reveals to us that the month is currently October. And third, all of the calendars in the city show October 11th, which collaborates October as our month and gives us the 11th as the day. Using this information, we can narrow it down to six possible dates. One of these October 11ths on a year ending in 27. But to narrow this down to a single date, 
This is where you must decide. Are you on Team Weather Report or on Team Moon? On the roofs of the slums, there is this TV. If you channel surf, you can find a weather report. And thanks to some amazing folks, check out the description for details on them, who have decoded the robot language, we can read that this is a forecast for a Monday and a Tuesday, which tells us today is a Monday, which means we can eliminate any of these dates that do not fall on a Monday, and we end up with a single date. Monday, October 11th, 2827. But if you're on Team Moon, you're going to be like, hey, look at what the phase of the moon was the night before Stray entered the city. Which of these six dates has a moon matching that phase? And using this method, you will also narrow it down to a single date, but not the same one. The night before, or the early morning of, Tuesday, October 11th, 3127, the moon phase will match this exactly. Now, members of Team Moon also get a bonus reveal from this. Because in order for the moon's phase and rotation to match this, it must mean that the walled city's mystery location is in the northern hemisphere. So which of these is the true date? I think either of these are good choices, and you could argue either way, so I'm going to leave the final decision up to you. Regardless of whatever you choose, I think we all know who's going to be Employee of the Month this October. 